Hi, it's Bill Cohen for Straight Circle Martial Arts, and this is Advanced Hand Positions. Video. This is a really important fundamental video that's very technical, and if you really want to learn martial arts and get better, this video is for you. If you're looking for more show, this isn't your video. So I want to go over a couple of really technical things for you to show you how it can make your martial art a little better. So this one, what I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you pinky up. So what I'm going to do is you're going to see my hand go like this. And you're going to see, when you make an escape, a lot of times people will roll like this with the fist, but they're so stiff they can't make it work. What you want to do is you want to take this fist and you want to bring it back. But then after you bring it back, because you want the guy to rotate a little bit, you want to add twist to it. But to add twist to it, you want to add more twist to it, you add the pinky. So if I step to this side, and again, when I step, remember, the hands have to work with the body. If you, if you just use the hands, it doesn't do you any good. This has to connect for this to work. So when I make this motion, if I just move to the side, you see how he's in structure? It makes it easy for him to hit me and continue to hit me. What I want to do, ideally, is if he's gripping really good, is as I move, I want to turn him a little bit. Now, you see how that puts something in my way? And that's what I like. But if you look, my hand's still flat. Now, watch. I'm going to add a little bend to it. See how as I bend this, and I bend back, you see him tip more. Now, if I add this pinky to it, and I twist and come back to my own face, do you see how much I rotated him? So if I just go like this, he stays there. If I go like this, he stays there. If I add that to it, and I arch the back a little bit, do you see how much more I get out of him and put him in position? It's a picky little thing. Just going like this, and then coming back, adding a circle, and doing this. It's almost like you have to learn to lead with the finger, and that's what generates it. So that little motion there adds a lot of power to that, believe it or not. Opening the fingers you would not believe how much power comes from opening the fingers. Because most people, what they do when they, they grab, they contract, and everything goes back into them. I want to expand. I want to open up towards them. But again, like the last one, I want to learn to steer with the finger. So a lot of times you see people go like this, and that's okay. You know, you see it in forms. But when I do forms, they come up and they come down. But I also like to get this, this pinky to pull down into the ground. So if he grabs me and I go like this, Right? Now watch, I'm going to take that pinky and I'm going to come down. So if I just go like this, it's okay. See, he stops there, but that's not enough. If I add that and I continue that motion, I roll that wrist. Because you got to remember, not like the last one, if I go like this, it's just linear. Right? Because I'm just doing this. But once I add this and I add the circle to it, life gets a lot better. So when you do this, I want him to go down, and then I add circle, and this motion here buckles him more. So anytime I can add a finger to it, or a direction, it works much better. My thumb. I like the thumb, because it throws a little more power on things. Sometimes when I'm throwing things in directions, if I go like this, you know, it's more muscle. But if I take my thumb, and I throw it, it adds a little more juice to it. You'd be amazed how much more this adds by just coming in and flicking the thumb in the direction you want to go. You're going to kind of notice a theme here that I like to lead with the fingers into techniques that I do. So in this particular instance, I'm just going to add the thumb and I'm going to come in. This one, the same thing. When I come this way, as I make these motions like this, right? You see a lot of this type of thing? I don't like to do those as much as I like to come with that pinky coming down. So if I'm like this, and I come down into my work, if I come this way, and what I do is I could do this, but if you see how I have this little extra this, so it's not straight, it turns and it comes down, and that adds a little more to it. You know, it's, a lot of times I lead with these pinkies, here, or here, or there. So I've had the outside one, I've had back, and now we're coming inside. So using that pinky to add a little more to the motion. So when I do these, keep this in mind. What I like to do, is when I'm using all these motions, you have to keep in mind that they, they work together with the body, number one. And they have to be supported by your body. But when I get to a certain point, you have to be flexible enough in the hands to lead with the fingers and not just come straight, you want to add rotation. So I come in and rotate. I come in and I rotate. 
I come in and I rotate. So not only do you affect your opponent on one plane, because he starts moving one way, when you start adding the rotation, you'll add him another plane and he'll move another way. And it gives you more of an advantage when you're actually trying to put on things like joint locks. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Feel free to leave comments and ask questions. Thanks very much for helping grow the channel.